Welcome back, this is Yamajack. We got uh, Gunslinger, Hell on Earth, Kakiri Forest. There is no Yamajack tries today, so if that was your favorite series, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> there's uh, there's no Yamajack tries today. Um, honestly, I woke up at 10.30. And, uh... I was just like... Yeah, I don't wanna. I, I don't wanna. And that's not really gonna be something I'm able to do <laughs> in, uh, in about a week. So, uh... You know, I've got to, I've got to take the opportunity to, to not do it when I don't want to, when I can. Because in, uh, in merely a week, it'll be a full-time responsibility, and uh, I won't be able to just not record it because I don't want to. I might not record some Yamaha Jack tries uh, at times just because I don't have time, or um, I'm prioritizing a, a specific series in in place of it or whatever. But like the Yamaha Jack tries is a fairly low priority um, series for me, so. If I miss if I miss an episode or if I have to put it on uh, if I have to put it on you know take a break from it for a while to, to have a different series going instead, then that's that's what we do, right? It's fine. Um Wow. It's enough uh, alpha clots for ya. So uh, yeah, there there's no uh, no Yam check tries today. I got a pretend there, I just didn't really feel like it. Um, and then right now it's 12 o'clock. I am feeling kind of like recording right now. Obviously, I'm recording. Um, but it's like 12 o'clock. The video would have to go up by 1. I wouldn't even get finished recording it until like 1 o'clock-ish. So I'm just like, eh, whatever. We'll, uh, we'll put it off for, for today. And, uh, that'll be, that'll be that. Um, let's see. In other news, my uh, my sister's hamster has, uh, has has passed today, which is uh, is particularly sad. It's not why I didn't feel like recording. Um, honestly, I wasn't I wasn't a like I wasn't super attached to the hamster. Like it was her hamster. It wasn't my hamster. And I had no part in the uh, in that. Um, but it's still it's still sad, right? When uh, when an animal dies, that's that's uh, never a uh, fun moment. And it's uh, it's like um, I don't know. I I just I feel bad recording right now and like having fun, <laughs> kind of. You, you know what I mean? Like just it's uh, it, it feels bad because I know that um, my sister definitely isn't right now, and. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do when uh, in that kind of situation. You know, I've never, I've never been in that situation because this is the first time um, we've been, we've had. Uh, she's she's had her own responsibility for an animal that she got very attached to that has died. She's had like fish and stuff die before, but she buys the fish that are sick and then gives them a good home until they're dead. So she she kind of she kind of. I don't know. I've never seen her upset over a fish death, really. So maybe maybe she is in the background, but I've never I've never seen it personally. But um, it's uh, yeah, I don't I don't I don't know what you're supposed to do. So I uh, I left her alone in her uh, in a room with, uh, with the cat, I believe. And I don't know if she if she decides to come out and wants to talk about it or whatever, then I guess that's what we'll do. But I I don't know what to do in the in the meantime. I don't know if I if I should do things. So I, I decided to go and record my uh, my KF2 videos, completely unrelated to the uh, to the hamster. But what can you do? I don't know. It's like. Uh, it's my bread and butter, you know. Except it doesn't actually put bread or butter on the table. So, but it's 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 what I it's what I do. I record KF2, you know. Whether I'm uh, whether I'm feeling it or whether I'm not feeling it, I uh, it's just it's uh, it's my responsibility as a as a content producer. And I'm feeling it today. I'm having I'm having fun. I'm into it. I like it. I wanted to record it, and I am. Um, I just I don't know what to do. I'm I'm a little lost. So it's a situation I've never been in. I don't have, uh, you know, they don't give you like a um, a pamphlet, right, on 
on how to behave in, in different situations. They just kind of expect you to know it, and, and I'll tell you, I don't know it. But for most situations, I don't know it. I've had to, you know, trial and error. Brute force my way through. Hello? Can you not be up there, bud? So, I don't know. So, I, I, I guess the moral of the story is uh, appreciate your uh, your animals and your, your people while you still can. Down you go. Perfect. Um, Let's get you restocked. Yoink. Appreciate what you got while you got it. Because they never know when it's just going to not be there anymore. You know, it could have it was the, it was the hamster today. Could have been the cat. Could have been my mom. Could have been my sister. Could have been your mom. Who knows? So uh, appreciate what you got while you got it. That's the that's the moral of the story. Let's see. Which is, I guess I'm not doing so well by uh, by recording my KF2, but eh, it's fine. Anyway, in uh, in lighter news, I knocked out 99 mining in RuneScape the other day. Set it to head, people. Working on archaeology finally. It's that's an unbelievably so, uh, slow skill. It's like I don't know, probably 15 to 30k XP an hour at uh, level 50-ish, which is just unbelievably slow. Which uh, is is a kind of annoying because. I was planning on getting 99 Archaeology before I started streaming, because um, September 1st is a Tuesday. So we're going to be doing a uh, Mainscape stream, and I want to do some PVM on that. Um, so I wanted to have uh, 99 Archaeology done so that I could have the uh, the relic that, uh, that makes you not have to adrenaline install. Adrenaline installing, for those who don't know, is um, using abilities when you're not in combat to just keep your... Uh, Adrenaline up so that you can continue using the more powerful abilities once the uh, the next fight starts it's Just keeping you uh keeping you in combat so that you have that so that momentum, right? Um, and uh, like 98 archaeology or something like that you get uh, You get an ability that makes it so that you don't have to adrenaline install anymore It uh, just makes it so that your adrenaline never drains you just it's always there which is uh, which is gonna be very very nice for for PVM and and all that because I don't have to. I mean, adrenaline slowing is super annoying. So like in between each boss fight, there's like 30 seconds, and every 10 seconds you have to use a new ability and you have to like keep track of that. And then if you miss one, then you lose like a bunch of adrenaline and it's just uh, it's very annoying. So uh, I'm definitely looking forward to. Uh, not having to do that anymore and I was hoping to have that done before September 1st it's like 98 98 archaeology or something like that oops sorry I wanted to have that done it was like 98 archaeology or something like that for the uh, for the relic I want to have that done before I started streaming um, because like while I'm streaming and paying attention to the chat it's going to be really hard to uh, to also get the adrenaline stalls going on in the uh, in the PVM stuff. So if I, I figured I'd get it done first and then start streaming, and uh, I'd have that, and I'd be able to kind of like take a break in between the uh, the kills to um like I don't know, rechat, talk a bit, you know, a bit of downtime just to uh, to chill out for a moment. Whereas uh, before you have that relic, it's, it's definitely not downtime. You have to um, be actively playing. Time's up. So. Go some oh, yeah. But I'm working on archaeology. It's, it's um, I'm thinking I'll be able to make it happen, but it's going to take some quite a few hours of uh, of play each day. I think it gets faster as you well. Obviously, it gets faster as you level up. So. I mean, if I if I look at like I don't know 100 100,000 XP an hour towards the end, maybe, which is Probably accurate. Probably on the lower end of uh, of accurate. Um, you know, it, it's a mere like hundred hours or something like that, and I've got a week to do a hundred hours in uh, in archaeology. I mean, 
It's it's doable. I mean, it's fairly AFK. At least I don't have to really do much in it. It's just slow. So it's, uh, it's definitely doable to play uh, 100 hours in a week. That's that's definitely doable. So I don't know. Well, we might still make it. Otherwise, maybe we do an arch stream in the in the first in the in the first one just to finish it off. But. It's uh, it's coming along. Getting that max cape soon. I think I am gonna start a uh, a series on just recapping what's happened in RuneScape recently. Cause I talk about it a lot, and I don't know I could be talking about other things in the uh, in the KF2 stuff. Believe it or not, I can pick up topics fairly easily now. Just random, random garbage. It's uh, it's pretty doable. Um. So having the having the KF2 series might be good for for people who actually care about that, and then also to build an audience specifically around RuneScape because I do want that as well, and uh, probably do like some highlights and and stuff as well later on. Probably not immediately, um, but going forward after I after I've been doing the scheduling thing for a little while, I probably will. Um, or if it if I'm making money off of it, I might just hire somebody else to do it for me and uh, throw together some highlight reels of uh, of the stream. Every uh, every week, it's, a bloody it's only like six hours of streaming a week, so it's not that much content. But I mean, it's something, right? It's something. It's definitely not nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're over there. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Goodness gracious me. Where are you coming from? Right over here. That's cool. I gotta go make lunch after this. I'm actually like really hungry. I just I can't I can't eat before I uh, before I record because then my, my voice gets all stuffy. I mean it's honestly it's bad for me bad enough for me to be recording right in the morning. Shortly after I've woken up because uh, I've got some problems there as well, but um, like to, particularly right after eight, because I typically eat like rice or something. Um, I don't know. Like, yeah, I, I, I typically eat something for lunch, right? Uh, so it's uh, not very good for a uh, uh, keeping your voice nice and good sounding and. Not having to cough and clear your throat and all of that, so it's uh, yeah. I gotta go make lunch. I don't know what I'm gonna make. We have some uh, some leftover salmon in the fridge from last night. I like rice and salmon. <laughs> I might do that. Rice and salmon go really really well together. Right, uh, egg and salmon go really really well together actually too. And you can put maple syrup on any of that, and that's gonna be good. So. I don't know. I'll probably, I'll probably end up using up some of that. I also got some pork in the freezer that I've got to use up from like forever ago. I've got a uh, a vacuum packer that I use for for particularly meats, fish, stuff like that. Like I'll buy it in bulk because it's way cheaper, and then I'll I'll seal it and then stick it in the the fridge, the freezer, and it lasts for like you know basically ever. Like it never really goes bad when you when you vacuum sealed it because you got all the air out of it. There's no oxygen for it to to react with, right? So it's uh it's nice for that. I've got some some pork in it for Africa. I don't buy it anymore. I probably will buy fish still, but I don't buy uh, I don't buy pork anymore because uh, I'm moving over to a, a vegetarian lifestyle. I mean, I got it when I was working at uh, a grocery store. Anyway, and oh come on, dude! Really, you were like actually no shield, but it just didn't work. Oh, I'm mad about that one. I'm like, I'm mad about that one. Um, so like we we'd get uh, sales on stuff all the time. And like when you work there, like you, I'll, t I'll tell you something. If you haven't worked at a grocery store before, 
working at a grocery store gets you way better deals because uh, not only do you get a discount on stuff if you if you work at like a grocery store that gives you discounts on stuff but um, you also get to uh, oh my god you get to know what's happening before it uh, before it goes out so like uh, the meat department comes over and they're like hey we got uh, what are you putting like some some sales on this pork if you want some and I'm like heck yeah or like uh, what happens often is they'll be out of like uh, a specific product so they'll just cut up something else that's far more expensive and uh, call it the same so I got some like prime rib for um, like stew beef price because they had no stew beef so they just chopped up prime rib and sold it as stew beef and I'm like I'm in <laughs> that's cheap it was like chopped up like it was it was stew beef but it was made from prime rib so it was uh, I'll tell you it was the best stew beef I ever had <laughs> that was a, that was a pretty uh, that was a hard fought win there but we still won so that's good at least Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, like it, subscribe to me to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.